Hi, in this video I will talk about object detection with YOLO version 2. YOLO version 2 is described in paper YOLO 9000 Better, Faster, Stronger. Authors are Joseph Redman and Ali Ferhadi. YOLO version 2 is an improved design over YOLO version 1 with a series of modifications. Patch normalization. Training becomes more stable with patch normalization. Model converges more easily when batch normalization is used after convolutional layers. Batch normalization also has regularization effect. High resolution classifier. In YOLO version 1, classifier network is pre-trained on ImageNet with input resolution of 224 by 224. Then it is trained with added layers for detection at 448 by 448. Network has to learn detection and adapt to increased resolution simultaneously. In YOLO version 2, pre-trained classifier is first fine-tuned on ImageNet with input resolution of 448 by 448 for 10 epochs. This way, weights of classifier network adapt to higher resolution. Then network is trained for detection. Convolutional with anchor boxes. YOLO version 1 makes predictions using fully connected layers on top of convolutional base. In YOLO version 2, fully connected layers are removed. YOLO version 2 is a fully convolutional network. In YOLO version 1, input size is 448 by 448. This is our input image. Downsampling factor of YOLO version 1 is 64. And output grid size is 7 by 7. In YOLO version 2, one max pooling layer is removed. Downsampling factor of YOLO version 2 is 32 and output grid size is 14 by 14. Large objects are generally is at the center of the image. So it is good to have a cell at the center of the image. For this purpose, input size is reduced to 416 by 416 and output grid size becomes 13 by 13. This way, instead of 4 cells, there is one cell to predict a large object at the center. In YOLO version 2, anchor boxes are used for bounding box predictions. The difference is that anchor boxes have predefined sizes. These predefined sizes are computed using ground truth data and act as period information. This is an example anchor box for tall and thin objects. This one is for short and wide objects. 
and this one is for objects having aspect ratio close to 1. YOLO version 1 predicts bounding box width and height directly. YOLO version 2 does not predict width and height directly. It predicts relative to anchor boxes. This way network learns detection more easily because it works with reference period boxes. YOLO version 1 predicts conditional class probabilities for each cell and one grid cell can detect only one object. YOLO version 2 predicts conditional class probabilities for each anchor box and one grid cell can detect multiple objects. Similar to YOLO version 1, YOLO version 2 predicts objectness or confidence score as the intersection of a union between ground truth and proposed box. Anchor box with the highest intersection over union indicates the proposed predicted box. Dimension clusters Number and dimensions of anchor boxes should be representative of the ground root boxes. K-means clustering is used to find anchor box dimensions. Number of anchor boxes K is set to 5 in reference paper. Each cluster centroid holds the average dimensions of the boxes in that cluster. Intersection over union is used to measure closeness to cluster centroids. If intersection over union with a cluster centroid increases, distance to that cluster centroid decreases. So distance equals 1 minus intersection over union. While computing intersection over union in this case, location information is irrelevant because clustering is performed on box dimensions. Only width and height are used to compute intersection and union. Direct location prediction This is the prediction vector for one box in YOLO version 2. For each predicted box, there are five parameters. Tx and Ty are used to compute box center offsets. Box center offsets are constrained between 0 and 1 using logistic function. Cx and Cy are coordinates of grid cell origin. Similar to YOLO version 1, YOLO version 2 predicts bounding box center coordinates relative to grid cell origin. Tw and Th are used to compute width and height of predicted box. Anchor box is shown with red and predicted box is shown with blue. Width height of the predicted box is computed relative to anchor box dimensions. TO is used to compute objectness or confidence score. Confidence is constrained between 0 and 1 using logistic function. Confidence score is computed multiplying P of object with intersection over union. 
model computes bounding box confidence score as an indicator of reliability of its predictions. Box confidence score provides the answers for two questions. How confident is the model when it predicts there is object inside the box? And how confident is the model about the precision of the bounding box around the object? Fine grained features. With discrete modifications, YOLO version 2 makes predictions using 13x13 13 13 feature maps. Higher resolution feature maps can be incorporated to increase detection performance for small objects. A pass-through layer takes 26x26x512 26 by 26 by feature tensor from an earlier layer, converts it to 13x13x2048 13 by 13 by tensor, and concatenates it with output features. Now we will see the details of pass-through mechanism. We have a high resolution tensor with size 2M by 2M by C1. And we have a low resolution tensor with size M by M by C2. High resolution tensor is divided into four blocks. Size of each one is M by M by C1. Then, these four blocks are concatenated channel-wise. The size of the result is M by M by 4C1. And as the final step, this tensor is concatenated with low-resolution tensor. Conversion for high-resolution tensor is shown inside blue rectangle. Note that, before dividing high-resolution tensor into four blocks, a 1x1 one one convolutional layer can be used to reduce channel size. Multiscale training YOLO version 2 is a fully convolutional network and it can process inputs with different sizes. In order for YOLO version 2 to have high performance at different input resolutions, training is performed at different resolutions. A different input resolution is chosen randomly for every 10 batches during training. Network downsamples input by a factor of 32, and input resolutions are selected as multiples of 32. Lowest input resolution is 320 by 320 and highest is 608 by 608. As resolution decreases, speed increases and performance decreases. And as resolution increases, speed decreases and performance increases. Darknet 19 Improvements described so far are implemented on YOLO version 1 architecture. In reference paper, a classification model called Darknet 19 is proposed as a new base for YOLO version 2. Darknet 19 has 19 convolutional layers and 5 max polling layers. Number of channels is doubled after each max polling layer. 1x1 one one convolutions are used to decrease channel size. 
Batch normalization is applied after each convolutional layer. Training for classification. Darknet 19 is pre-trained on ImageNet with 224 by 224 images for 160 epochs. Then it is fine-tuned with 448 by 448 images for 10 epochs. Training for detection. Last convolutional layer of Darknet 19 is removed. Three 3x3 three three convolutional layers are added. Each has 1024 filters. A final 1x1 one one convolutional layer is used to adjust channel size. For Pascal VOC dataset, 5 bonding boxes are predicted at each cell. For each box, 5 box parameters and 20 class probabilities are predicted. Final channel size is 125. Fine-grained features are included in detection process using pass-through layer. Output of 13th convolutional layer is converted for pass-through. Converted tensor has 256 channels and is concatenated with the output of 20th convolutional layer. This final network is trained for 160 epochs. YOLO version 2 is a fast, single-pass object detection system that can process inputs at different resolutions. And that's all for this video. See you next time.